Hi, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. Once upon a time, currency conversion was only done when going abroad. But in today's world, it's something many of us need to do on a regular basis. In this video, I'm going to create a currency converter in Excel that updates in real time. Whether you're shopping online, paying a bill or requesting payment, it's likely you'll need to use some sort of currency converter. There are plenty of websites that will do it for you, but you can also build your very own currency converter in Excel and it can be set to update automatically in real time. Let me show you. Before I start, just a couple of points. Firstly, this demo uses the data types feature of Excel, which isn't available in all versions. To check whether it's available in your version, click on the data ribbon. And in the data types section, if you've got currencies, you're good to go. If you haven't got currencies, but you've got stocks, you can use that instead because currencies and stocks get their data from the same data feed. Secondly, if you want to follow along with me or you just want a better understanding of how I've put the demo worksheet together, you can download a copy of this worksheet via a link in the description below the video. The financial director of Excellent Ice Creams uses this spreadsheet to analyze year-to-date sales in real time in four currencies. The formulas in column C to E rely on the exchange rate values in column M. I'm not going to focus on those formulas in this video. As I said, the worksheet can be downloaded if you want to work through the formulas yourself. So let's switch to the report demo sheet. And by the way, the NAs will be resolved once I've created the currency table. The first step in creating the currency table, which I've already done, is to enter the currency codes of the two currencies that I want to convert. If you don't know the codes, they're available online. Just search Google or your preferred search engine for currency codes. You can type them in with or without a separator. If you're going to use a separator, it doesn't matter what character you use, because when we convert them into currency, Excel will add its own separator. At the moment, they're just three text entries. I'll start by selecting those text entries, clicking on data on the ribbon, and either clicking on currencies or stocks. And what Excel has done is it's converted those three cell entries from being text entries to being currency entries. Or to put it another way, instead of being data type of text, they are data type of currency. Next to each currency, we've got a little icon. So if I click on the icon, it opens up a card and that card displays information about that currency. To add data into column K, I need to select the three currencies, click the icon that appears at the top right, and from the list, select From Currency. And that has added into each cell the value of the From Currency for each of those currencies in column J. If I actually click into one of the cells in column K, there is a formula. You can see that it's picking up the from currency property of the currency that's in J6. It automatically put those values into the next available column. So if I select the currencies again and click the icon and this time select currency from the list, it'll put values into column L. And what it's put into column L is the values of the currency property for the currencies that are in J6. And finally, I want the actual exchange rate values. So select the currencies again, click on the icon and select price. And what we now have in column M is the values of the price property of each of the currencies from column J. It's even put the correct symbols in there. So how do I get the table to refresh automatically? Well, that's the next bit and it's a brand new feature. At the time of recording this, which is the beginning of April 2022, this bit is only available to users on the Insider channel. 
although I'm sure in time, like most Excel features, it will make its way to all Microsoft 365 users. Right click on any of the currencies in column J, select data type and refresh settings. Expand the stocks section. You'll notice that it says stocks, even though I chose currency when I set this up initially and make sure that the refresh this data type is set to automatically every five minutes. If it's not, choose that option. If it is, you're good to go. Close down that panel. And now we have our very own automatically updating currency converter. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe for more. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips to help you become more productive in Excel. You can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.